Well, joining me now to talk more about the Amazon is Emilio de la Rovere. He's a professor at the University of Rio de Janeiro. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You know, we've often heard My that pleasure. Brazil is one of those emerging economies. It's a member of the BRICS countries. It's got an economy that's growing extremely fast. But at what cost does that development, does that growth come to those indigenous people who live in Brazil, who live in places like the Amazon, this encroachment that gets onto their land? Yes, uh, there are protected areas for indigenous people that amount to roughly 10% of the total surface of the country. The problem is, of course, enforcement of the law, protecting the borders of these areas. The pressures come from economic activity, deforestation due to um, uh, expansion of the agricultural frontier, mainly for cattle raising, and for soybeans and other crops. As you know, Brazil is a major producer and exporter of meat and, and soybeans. So this is uh, the uh, largest challenge, is actually to enforce laws and regulations that protect uh, indigenous people against this economic pressure. And I guess part of that challenge would be uh, something of a delicate balancing act for state governments as well as the federal government uh, how do they preserve the indigenous people's lifestyles and their, 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 their living in, in these areas while at the same time ensuring that there is economic development? Exactly. So the important thing is actually first uh, using uh, command and control measures to actually uh, leave these people alone in their territory and protect the integrity of their territory. And this is the most important thing, and uh, avoid illegal deforestation. And uh, this it can also be used, uh, uh, f uh, achieved through economic, the use of economic instruments, like uh, cutting access to credit uh, for cattle raising and for expansion of crops. So in the recent years, from an uh, yearly average, annual average of about 20,000 uh, square kilometers of deforested area per year, which we are using to see in the 90s. This figure has been cut uh, to roughly 20% of it. And half of this uh, uh, victory against deforestation can be explained by cutting the credit uh, to those who have not land ownership uh, titles and uh, are not really entitled to expand cattle raising and uh, cropping. So you're saying that uh, those plans to stop widespread deforestation, which was very widespread at one time, that they have been uh, mostly successful? Yes, in the recent years, I would say in the five years, there has been a trend, and this uh, has been very important also for climate change. This uh, cutting down uh, to only 20% of the previous uh, annual average means avoiding the emission of 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year, which is a major contribution. I think the the largest from the emergent economy to uh, our fight against uh, global warming and climate change. Okay, sir. Thank you very much for joining us.